this video is part of a series, be sure to check out the description of this video for a full playlist. In the last video, we started looking at the ifconfig command, which only can turn on and turn off IP addresses and do other stuff such as setting IP addresses, I'm oh, sorry, turn on and turn off network devices, and also it can be used for setting IP addresses um, and other things as well. Uh, we can type it in, get basic information, but let's say we want to retrieve just our IP address. Uh, and here I'm talking about our local IP address when I'm talking about IPv4. Um, if you're trying to connect from outside of your local network, you're going to need to get your external, your, your, uh, your public IP address, which is a whole nother thing. But within your local um, network, this is your IP address here. And obviously you can see it there, but let's say you want to write a script that grabs just that. There's a number of ways to do that. I'm just going to throw together something real quick here. So. I'm going to type in IP, uh, con, I, sorry, IF config, and I'm going to pipe it into our grep command. And grep is used to search through the information given to it and find matches. So I'm going to say to find I N E T space quotation mark. Now space is important because you'll notice that there is a other lines that have I N T or sorry I N E T, and they also have the six. We want just the lines that have the space. So I'll go ahead and hit enter, and there you go. We can see our IP addresses for our two devices here, our wired Ethernet connection and our loop back. But we still have other information on there. So next I'm going to use awk. So I'm going to now run the same command. I'm going to pipe this into a command called awk. And uh, then I'm going to say inside single quotes here, braces, I'm going to say print, dollar sign two. So I'll hit enter, and you can see that returns just my IP addresses. So let me explain that command a little bit. So this is our regular output from ifconfig. We're taking all of this output and we're then putting it into grep and grep will return only lines that are matching INET space, which would be this line and this line. So next we need to get just the IP address, which would be the second column if we're going by white spaces in here. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going by spaces. Um, so. This dollar sign two, we're saying, awk, look at all, look at the information given to it, which right now is two lines in my case. Print columns, column two basically. So this would be column one, and this is column two here, and same here. So when we do that, we get our output of both IP addresses. Now let's say you want to get for a specific device, in this case, my ETHO device, my wired uh, connection. Uh, what I can do then is I can change this up a bit. So I can say ifconfig, there we go, uh, and I can pipe that again into grep, but instead of grepping for the INET, I can grep for ETHO, which will return the line of ETHO, which is not doesn't have our IP address, but what I can put after that is dash A, capital A, it is case sensitive, one, which would say return the matching line and one line after it. So the A is the number of lines, so I can say match the 10 lines after it, or, or I can say two lines, so that would show two lines after it. I'm gonna say one line after it, perfect. Okay, so now that we have that, I want to now um, remove that top line. What I can use is the tail command. Tail by itself default shows the last 10 lines of the input given to it. So if we want to change it right here, I only want the single line. So I'm going to say dash N1. And that will give us just the last line returned. And I can pipe this now into our awk command and say to print dollar sign two for the second column. And there we go, we get just our IP address for that device. Now this is just uh, ways I'm throwing it together right now. I'm sure there's lots of different ways you, that you can do this. You could probably use set or awk alone without piping this many times, but just off the top of my head, these are the tools that I'm going with. Um, and this may seem like a long command, but again, you can always make aliases or scripts that you can run on your system to type one command like my IP and that will then return your IP address. So all depending on what you're doing, lots of times people look at this and go, oh, I have to type that every time. It's like, no, you, you type it once, you save it as a command that you want, you, you're good to go. Now, let me briefly talk here about something else. I'm gonna split my screen here. This top screen here, I'm actually logged into an older device I have that has been updated. And when I went to run, to, to record this video, I typed in ifconfig and went, wait a minute, ifconfig looks 
different than I remember. And if I type ifconfig up here, you can see that it definitely has a bit of a different formatting to it. I don't know at, at what point this changed. I just noticed it today. It may have happened a while ago and I just never noticed it. But you'll notice that the lines are different. You'll notice that the line with the IP address actually says INET space ADDR colon and then our IP address. So it's returning something completely different here. Uh, so we have to go a different route to get the IP address. So if you're working on a system that has this version of ifconfig, maybe it's an older system you have, uh, a router or an old server that you just haven't updated. Um, let's go ahead and just have a quick look at that. Again, there's a, a few options here. I can, whoops, let me do that. Let's go ahead and make this full screen, clear this out. So. Again, we need to grab this line here. Let's go the same route that we were going. So let's go ifconfig. Let me grep etho a for after one line. And then I'm gonna say tail dash and one enter. And you can see that now I get the line I have. And at this point, instead of using awk, I can just use my simple cut command here. Um, well, I'm still gonna end up using awk or cut. So I can say cut dash D, I'm, I'm, I'm really doing this off, off the top of my head here, uh, F2. So what this is saying is, okay, we've got this line. It's saying, find a delimiter of, of colon, so it's gonna find each colon, and, uh, and it's going to divide that up into columns. And actually, I want F1, no, F2 is correct. So now I've got my IP address, but it's actually dividing it here, so I'm still getting this uh, little uh, B cast here. So what I can do is I can pipe that again into cut, dash D uh, space space dash F1 that'll give me it or I can go back to using the awk command I was using before of awk print dollar sign uh, one in this case and that gives me so either way now again there's people out there that are cringing right now because I'm piping 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 which some people ask, that's the beauty of shell scripting, being able to link commands like that. That's where its real power comes in. But then you'll have the people who complain that you're using more processing power than need be because you're running all these different commands. And they're right, you're using more than need be. It really doesn't matter <laughs> unless you're on a very, very lightweight system, which this is running great here on a ARM system. In fact, if I go uname dash R, you're going to see how outdated my system is, or dash A. You can see I'm running an ARM processor here, very old kernel. Definitely need to update this, this system here at some point. Um, but this, this ARM device with uh, very little RAM, as you can see, is running my piped commands fine. But let's go ahead and try to shorten this up some. So I'm going to say ifconfig, and I'm going to pipe it just once into awk, and I'm not the most versed on awk. This is a command that I found online. Uh, so here we're saying awk, we're gonna say forward slash INET ad, uh, address, A-D-D-R, and I'm gonna say forward slash print, and then we're gonna say substring, and then parentheses, and then close our squiggly bracket or braces, dollar sign two, comma, six, and hit enter. And you can see, well, that's returning um, both our IP addresses, but you'll get the idea here. We're definitely shortening our command here. Um, and basically, we're using awk to not only uh, trim up our line, but to search for the line. So we're saying, instead of using grep, like we were up here, we're saying awk, find this line, and then go ahead and just go ahead and cut the line like that. So we're definitely, we're only running two commands here rather than one, two, three, four, five commands here, although I am have an extra command in there just to grab uh, this particular device. I'm sure that can be done with awk. Awk and sed are both great, great devices. I'm a lot more familiar with sed, but still they can do so much stuff and I know, oh no, such a small amount of how they work. But I thought I'd show you just different options and showing how you can link these commands together uh, on the fly and get the results that you want, even though they can later on be simplified into smaller commands. So I thank you for watching. As always, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.